I've done stories like this before. Behind the scenes Hollywood, on location with a hit TV series. Watch it being shot, then interview the star, watch the action. But this story was different, for me at least, for two very good reasons. Meet the reasons, Andrew, age four, and John, age eight, whose father is about to introduce them to their two favorite stars in the whole wide world, starting with... Kid. Are you surprised? Are you happy? Are you happy, Andrew? You want to go look at it? Kit is, of course, the computerized, talking, crime-fighting superstar with a high-tech dashboard, a hypnotic scanner, and a supreme sense of self-esteem. Slang use of words is beyond me. However, as far as who is fastest, that's simple. I am. The guy driving Kit you probably know is Kit's best buddy, Michael Knight, also known as David Hasselhoff, the other favorite star of our dynamic duo. Knight Rider, the hit NBC series, has turbo-boosted the career of Hasselhoff, whose last series, Semi-Tough, was canceled. While both the four-wheeled and the two-legged stars of the series get tender, loving care, there's no jealousy between the two. Kids particularly love them both. The more I play Michael Knight, the more I see why, and I think it's because they look at Michael Knight and Kit, especially Kit. I say Kit's under seven, look at Kit much more than they do Michael Knight as the kind, giving, loving, trusting, protective, perfect parent. And they look at Michael as the perfect big brother who would never hurt them, who's always there for them, who's nothing but love. What about justice? You sent me out here to stop these burglaries and to catch the people involved. Michael Knight's lone wolf character is quite different from Hasselhoff, who willingly gives out autographs and helps keep the crew loose during the sometime 20-hour days required to shoot Knight Rider. He'll even put up with an interviewer who brings in some ringers to keep asking more questions. I want to know how you did that with Kit and the bull. That was one of the more dangerous days because, see, you can't, bulls don't understand English. And whatever we say to them, they won't do it. We tried to move, we tried to move over there. Didn't work, man. But the bull was fine and we jumped right over him and everything was cool. How did they make the big Goliath? It's well, this question and answer right? session could go on all <laughs> night. But the cameras are waiting, and it's back to work for Hasselhoff. Then there's a final exchange of gimme fives and some memories to last a lifetime. I'm John Corcoran.